If you're in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page and your clip that normally looks like this starts to look like this, where you get the no frame available for media out, or it might even blank out and look like this where the screen turns black with the same error, you can usually make it render if you scrub through the timeline, um, but the clip still just doesn't look right. To resolve this issue, select the clip, go to the Fusion page, and we want to find the offending node. In this case, it was Media Out 1, so we'll select Media Out 1. We're going to delete it, go back to the edit page, and the issue's gone away. However, what happens if you're getting the error and you try that fix and it doesn't work? Let's see what that looks like. So in this case, I'm going to use my next clip, which is set up exactly like these others. Obviously, I've um, set it up and done something to it to make the error appear, but let's walk through it again. Select the clip, go to the Fusion page. If I go up to the keyframes viewer and open up the keyframes window, it's showing media out one underscore one as being problematic. That's the one that's in red. But if I go back to the window, I'm seeing that it's saying media out one is causing a problem. Hmm. What could be the problem here? Well, this error is telling us exactly what the problem is. It's saying that Media Out 1 doesn't have a frame connected to it, and so it's throwing an error. And also, if you look at this clip in the inspector window, we can see that there are effects applied to it, and one of the effects is a fusion effect. Let's take a look at that effect. Sure enough, Media Out 1 is connected to this fusion effect. If I look in the keyframes viewer, it's showing me this effect media out one so let's delete that guy go back to the edit page still getting the issue no frame available for media out one underscore one now different error same clip different error okay so I'm gonna select my clip again I'm gonna go back into the fusion page sure enough media one underscore one that's the guy in our keyframes viewer that's in red highlight it select it delete it go back to the edit page and now the issue is resolved so the bottom line here is the error tells you exactly what the problem is um, what you're charged with then is ferreting out where exactly that node may live with a simple fusion setup or a simple clip there's not a lot to figure out which node is causing the problem however if you have something where you have multiple clips and you've combined them all into a composite clip and each one of those pieces that make up that composite, they each have their own fusion effects applied. Any one of those could actually be the error and you might have to do some figuring there. But if you're just diligent with it and trace it back, eventually you'll be able to figure it out. And just by looking at what it's telling you to do, do that, you're gonna be able to fix that problem. That's it for this one. Good luck with your next project and thanks for watching.